Good morning, YouTube pipe smokers. So I just watched the YouTube video. Brian Doran. I think it's Beans316. Good channel. Check him out. He also makes some pipes, which you may want to get one while you can. He usually makes pokers. Um, I think I have two of them. does a nice job. Anyway, uh, he just posted a video and uh, eBay has jumped on the bandwagon and banned all tobacco sales on eBay. Which as he said, is a, that's okay because people have been ripping people off with the McClellan blends for ridiculous amounts of money. But keep in mind, that's not why eBay did it. They did it because of the tobacco thing. Smoking my Dan Moore pot pipe. And, um, you know, it's getting a little ridiculous. So he thinks that soon they're probably going to ban pipe sales and any tobacco related con uh, products of any kind, which may or may not be true, but um, you know the point is, do we learn anything from the history? You know, anytime you ban something, that's when people want it more. You know, on a side note, you take a lot of these little towns, like I'm in a town that um, in my surrounding area, there's like an East Fishkill, there's Poughkeepsie, the Lagrange area, all little different towns. Some have a uh, trash pickup, some, ha some don't, some have a dumping day, but you know, now this, there's a connection between this and tobacco, so bear with me. So the towns that don't have a dump day or a trash pickup to get rid of your bulk items, you know what that promotes? You see it in this small town of uh, East Fiskill. There used to be, uh, it's developed now, but there used to be this road that was kind of uh, barren, nothing on it. Um, that became the dumping ground. And you drive down this road, you see a refrigerator. You'd see a washing machine, you see an uh, old barbecue, because the town didn't have a trash day or a dump, a place to dump. So it promotes, people want to throw something out, so they're going to do something that they shouldn't be doing, because there's no means for them to get rid of it without costing them money. So it's the same type of thing with uh, tobacco. They're, gonna, they're banning it to a point that you're going to have to get a bootleg at some point. I hope it doesn't come to that. Not only that, it's affecting a lot of jobs. Uh, you know, cigar business is a pretty large business, and if, even the pipe business. If you look at smoking pipes, they turn over a lot of pipes. There's a lot of people interested in smoking. Pipes and cigars, and I don't think it's fair to mix smoking with cigarette smoking. It's very, very different. And listen, not that I'm not going to be stupid about it. Not that it's bad, not good for you. Any kind of it has its risks. We know that. But at the same time, they're going to promote legal. Uh, legalizing marijuana. So how do you square the two? And then like my argument is, then where do you stop? Why is sugar not uh, on the attack? That has a larger effect against people's health than tobacco does. And yet, every product you buy, every product just about has sugar in it. You know, we 
went through the spice rack in our house because we went on this whole 30 diet. I can't tell you the amount of spices that we had that contained sugar. And a spice that you wouldn't, not like a barbecue rub, I know they use sugar in those. On a, a regular type of spice, I can't think of one off the top of my head, but uh, it wasn't a rub or anything. And there's sugar in it. And they do that for one reason. Sugar, it, it you become addicted. And I read a good article, there was a good article in, uh, I think it was the Costco uh, magazine that comes around if you're a Costco member. And they said that uh, the rotisserie chickens that everybody sells in the supermarkets, and uh, it's, they're everywhere, everybody does it, Sam's does it, all the big box places. And it's a good value, you get a, a, a rotisserie chicken for five dollars, usually, or six dollars. And they're good, and it's a good pinch if you want a dinner quick. But they said in the article that they sprinkle the spice on the outside, and it has a sugar content, and loaded with carbs to keep you addicted. Now they said, it, they went on to say it's still a healthy alternative if you don't eat the skin, because most of the spice is on the skin. I happen to like the skin, to me that's the best part, but... The point is, they're taking chicken and sprinkling it with something that makes you addicted so you want to eat more. That to me is more criminal than tobacco, because I know, I don't... I would venture to say there's not a person out there that thinks tobacco is good for you. I mean, as a, it's not a health product, let's put it that way. But sugar has a, a, a higher effect of, for, to create bad health and, and over uh, eating and overweight. I bet you the statistics would be unbelievable if you compared it to the deaths the tobacco cause. So, you know, it's just not fair. It's, you know, and I know life is not fair, but it's something wrong, you know? There's just something wrong. And it makes no sense to me. Let me pick and choose. You know, I know what's best for me. You know, and I say educate the people and do it in that fashion instead of trying to act as the you really care about me. The government doesn't care about me. Look at the mess that's been going on in Washington with uh, primarily the Democrats. What good, what have they done for any person to help them? So you think they want to help you? Do you think they care about you, whether you smoke tobacco or not? That's not the point. They just care about themselves, and it's a, a some kind of movement that makes them feel good about themselves, maybe, or something. I don't know. Meantime, probably half the lawmakers uh, are smoking Cubans that we can't get in the U.S. But they can, and that's okay. You know, and I understand if I had a kid, a uh, son or a daughter, I wouldn't want them to smoke. I wouldn't uh, promote it for them. But if they wanted to, and hopefully they would do it sensibly. I feel I smoke sen sensibly. Uh, can I get cancer from it? Absolutely. But you know what? You can get cancer without smoking. You know, I had a good friend of mine, uh, had, he's still a good friend, that 
works in the transmission business, and he got lung cancer. Never smoked a day in his life. Never tried it, never smoked it. There's nobody in his household smoked, so he didn't get secondhand smoke, and he got lung cancer. So there's always exceptions. Then you take George Burns who smoked cigars and he lived, what, to 80, 98 or something like that? So, you know, they don't know enough about it, first of all. And again, not to be naive about it, granted, inhaling any kind of smoke or tobacco can be harmful to you, we know this. But well, you know, they also did a study that standing on the corner of uh, Manhattan, you inhale so much uh, pollutants that it's almost worse than smoking cigarettes with uh, brake dust and exhaust fumes because of all the traffic. And control. So what are you going to do now? Ban cars? Well, actually, the, some of them green movement idiots want to do that anyway. but. You know, so it, it's 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 just nuts. It's just really, really nuts. And they're going to continue this attack until they get it to the point where they feel it's adequate, and it's just going to create an underground tobacco movement. That's all that's going to happen. And the people that want to smoke are going to have to find a way. Now you're going to get people, and it's happening already, hoarding tobacco and stocking up. It's just stupid. It really, really is stupid. You know, this is all feel-good BS. Same thing with the plastic and cups and all this nonsense. and. They create all these alternative products that are just making things worse. You know, it's like the LED light thing, which I'm a fan of. You know, they're cooler, uh, more energy efficient. But here's what happened in my business. They, Central Hudson is our uh, electric provider. They had the program, you switch to these uh, high, high efficiency lights. And they're brighter and cooler, and I did the program. And I noticed my bill didn't go down. Because what happened is, so many people have been switching that they, they didn't get enough revenue to support their company, so they raised the cost for kilowatt. So now my electric bill is just as high as it was before, and I'm more energy efficient. So they didn't save me anything, and now they created another nightmare with getting rid of some of these bulbs and products. So just, you know, get out of my way and, you know, protect me from war and diseases and, and, and do the right thing lower the taxes, create jobs, and let me live. That should be what they're concerned about. And educate people and do it in everything. If you're really gonna look out for me or the people, then you know, get after the food manufacturers, the pharmaceutical companies, that have vaccines with mercury in it that they give children and there's some links they claim to autism from this. You know, go after those uh, things that really make a difference and just stop the, the stupidness. Uh, it's so frustrating, it really is frustrating. You know, that's why, regardless of what you think, you gotta vote some of these idiots out. It really, it's just unbelievable.
They're creating a more stressful society. That's what they're doing. Anyway, not to bum you out for the weekend, but I hope you're having a good weekend. I hope you have a good day. Try to remain calm and cool. In the words of Ralph Crandon, pins and needles, needles and pins. It's a happy man that grins. Now what am I mad about? They're attacking my tobacco! <laughs> anyway, catch you on the next one. Thank you.